Welcome to Road Scouts. For those who are new to the channel, we're dedicated in showing you an uncut version of a route from point A to point B. And we will see establishments, places of interest. Magandang magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Saan mang bahagi yun ng mundo kayo naroroon. Welcome back to my subscribers, returning viewers, and new viewers alike. If you haven't uh, subscribed yet, think about subscribing to the channel and hitting that subscribe button because we have a lot more road travel coming up. So we're now part four of our trip and we've just released episode 30. So we have released uh, three episodes in total for a travel period of 90 minutes. We're right in the middle of it, uh, somewhere between Santa Rita and Pulilan exits. We started from Batanga City and we will end at Pozo Rubio. Okay? And it's taking me a lot more time to edit guys. Because uh, I'd like to have more substance per episode, right? And one good thing I like about doing all of these videos is I'm learning a lot because I've been uh, researching and reading up a lot of materials as well. So hopefully for this particular episode, we'll learn a thing or two as well. Remember New Manila International Airport, that's the projected location. It's very close in proximity to NLEX. NLEX is the yellow thing that you see. It will also have a direct line, an express line, connecting it to MRT7, which is at San Jose del Monte City. There will also be a road called Radial 10, which will connect the airport to Navotas and the port area as well.
we've just passed through the elevated portion of NLEX. It's approximately 5 kilometers more or less. Don't quote me on the actual length. <laughs> right? Um, I remember back in the days, uh, several decades ago, there was a massive flooding here in this area. And we got stuck here. And I can't forget this part. And I always enjoyed, you know, uh, taking this uh, part here because it's elevated. So you get to see uh, miles and miles of, you know, greeneries and farmlands, especially if you're taking the bus, right? So because this is already elevated, and if you're going to take the bus, you're even, even uh, elevated some more. So you have a better view. But we're passing by San Simon Exit. San Simon Exit, you can also take this if you miss uh, Santa Rita or Pulilan. But if you miss Santa Rita, normally I take Santa Rita if I'm going to go to Nueva Ecija. But if I miss that, another way for you to take is San Simon. San Simon Exit will bring you to Quezon Road. Quezon Road intersects Jose Abad Avenue. And Jose Abad Avenue to its west brings you all the way to Olongapo. And to the east, it will bring you to uh, Gapan Nueva Isi. I'm just not sure if it's still called uh, Jose Abad Avenue. I think it's uh, some going to be something like Gapan Dash something road uh, once you get to the Nueva Isi area.
course, San Fernando Pampanga, who will not know anything about San Fernando Pampanga. If you take this exit, it will bring you to Jose Abad Avenue. Jose Abad Avenue is worth mentioning because it's quite a stretchy road. To the west, it ends at Alongapo and Subic. To the east, it ends at Gapan Nueve Sia, so it's uh, quite long. The dynamics of the road itself, when it comes to the number of lanes, can be from two lanes to up to as much as 10 lanes, if I'm not mistaken. Back in the days, this was your primary option if you want to if you want to go to Subic coming from Metro Manila, right? So because this is the first exit that would bring you there faster. So you take San Fernando, turn west, and it will bring you to Olongapo. Uh, for Neva Isia, you have a lot of options. Uh, you have uh, you have uh, Santa Rita, you have San Simon, which we just discussed. But for Olongapo and Subic, this will prob this will be your first exit to take. But nowadays, with SC Tex, we'd rather choose SC Tex even if we go a little bit farther in distance, because the speed limit for SC Tex will be far faster than if you are to take Jose Abad Avenue. Of course, there will be less obstructions, there will be less intersections, because it's going to be an expressway all the way. Up next is Mexico Exit or Mexico, as they would pronounce it in Spanish, right? Well, I forgot to mention, guys, that to our east, to our right, since we're traveling north, to our east is Mount Arayat, and Mount Arayat is a national park. And I forgot to mention that in our earlier exits, but just in case, like me, you forgot to take any of those earlier exits you can always take mexico and you know a travel east you don't need to make a u-turn go back to san fernando anymore because i think it's going to be just a waste of time to do so it's not that far so from this exit to san fernando is approximately three or so kilometers only so if you miss san fernando 
to go to Mount Ariat, right? So just take Mexico and work your way back to Jose Abad Avenue, right? So just a tip. Now, I think the hardest part in traveling at night will be uh, keeping yourself awake, right? So how do you guys uh, keep yourself awake? So just comment down below. How do you keep yourself awake? Well, me personally, I try not to use any gadgets to minimize the glare. I find that glare is really bad for keeping my keeping myself awake. At the same time, water can help as well as eating something, uh, chips perhaps. Okay.
Okay, guys, we're exiting SC Text here, and this is going to be my last commentary here. We're very close to the end of our episode. Once we pass SC Text, we're going to take the ramp to Tipilex, and it will bring us all the way to Pozurubio. So, upcoming will be episode 5 and episode 6. For episode 5, I have an idea on how we're going to go about it. So you'll see. And thank you very much for your time today and for viewing the video. And I hope you like it. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell. So I hope to see you again in episode 5. Take it easy and drive safe. Have a nice day, everyone.